I inform you that the meeting is being tape recorded. If you can all stand, please, for the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> Okay, are there any public comments on agenda items? Nothing? Okay, we'll get into our business agenda. The tax collector's report and tre treasurer's report are available for public inspection at the Hopewell Township Municipal Building. First, we need a motion to approve the March 25, 2019 business uh, meeting minutes. Do I have a motion? So moved. Mr. Kushner. Do I have a second? Second. Mr. Swihart. Roll call. Mr. Swihart. Yes. Mr. DePietro. Abstain. Mr. Kushner. Yes. Mr. Buffalini. I abstain. Uh, since we don't have a, uh, uh, a majority, we will table that till the next meeting. <coughs> next, we need a motion to approve the list, uh, list of bills dated January or April 25, 2019, as presented. General funds one hundred fifteen thousand three seventy one and fifty five cents. Sewer fund forty thousand nine hundred two and sixty eight cents. State fund fourteen thousand five eighty four and thirty five cents. Do I have a motion? So moved. Mr. Kushner, I have a second. Second. I second. Roll call. Mr. Swihart. Yes. Mr. DePietro. Yes. Mr. Kushner. Yes. Mr. Buffalini. Yes. Motion carried. Need a motion to approve the tax collector's monthly report for the month of March 2019 for tax year 2018. The month of March 2019 for the tax year 2019. The corrected monthly uh, report for the month of February 2019 for tax year 2018. And a corrected monthly report for January 2019 for the year 2018. Do I have a motion? So moved. Mr. Petro, I have a second. Second. Mr. Swihart, roll call. Mr. Swihart. Yes. Mr. DePetro. Yes. Mr. Kushner. Yes. Mr. Buffalini. Yes. Motion carried. <coughs> Need a motion to approve contract number one with A.R. Olistro Incorporated, formerly 2B River Gravel, at $20 per ton delivered to the job site. Size number 2A, formerly 2A limestone. At 1875 per ton, delivered to the job site. Do I have a motion? So moved. Mr. Kushner, I have a second. Second. Mr. DePietro, roll call. Mr. Swihart. Yes. Mr. DePietro. Yes. Mr. Kushner. Yes. Mr. Buffalo. Yes. Motion carried. Next, we need a motion to approve contract number one with McClyman Supply and Transit Company, Incorporated, for size number one, formerly four limestone, at $20.53 per ton, delivered to the job site. Size number R5, riprap limestone, at $28.23 per ton, delivered to the <coughs> job site, and natural sand at $12.23 per ton, delivered to the job site. Do I have a motion? So, so moved. Mr. DePietro, do I have a second? Second. Mr. Swihart, roll call. Mr. Swihart. Yes. Mr. DePietro. Yes. Mr. Kushner. Yes. Mr. Buffalini. Yes. Motion carried. Need a motion to approve contract number three with Hanson Aggregates BMC Incorporated for super paved HMA uh, wearing course 9.5 millimeter 0 to 0 0.3 million design ESALs PG 64-22 SRL-8H section 409 at $64 per ton FOB plant. Do I have a motion? So moved. Mr. Kushner, do I have a second? Second. Mr. Swihart, roll call. Mr. Swihart. Yes. Mr. DePietro. Yes. Mr. Kushner. Yes. Mr. Buffalini. Yes. Motion carried. Need a motion to approve contract number three with Russell Standard Corporation for FB1 modified by Tuminous Gold Patch premium grade at $83.75 per ton FOB plant. Do I have a motion? So moved. Mr. DePietro, I'll second. 
Roll call. Mr. Swihart. Yes. Mr. DePietro. Yes. Mr. Kushner. Yes. Mr. Buffalini. Yes. Motion carried. Need a motion to approve contract number five with Colberts Incorporated for type M inlet frame and great great steel with straight bars, bicycle safe grates only, HS-20 loading of $223 each, delivered to the stops, uh, job site, and steel inlet frame only, HS-20 loading at $167 each, delivered to the job site. <coughs> Do I have a motion? <coughs> so moved. Mr. DiPietro. <coughs> Do I have a second? Second. Mr. Uh, Kushner. Roll call. Mr. Swihart. Yes. Mr. DiPietro. Yes. Mr. Kushner. Yes. Mr. Buffalini. Yes. Motion carried. Next, we need a motion to approve contract number six with Colberts Incorporated for a 12 inch diameter HDPE smooth interior pipe at $5.50 per foot, delivered to the <coughs> job site. 15 inch diameter HDPE smooth interior pipe at $7.45 per foot, delivered to the job site. An 18 inch diameter smooth interior pipe at $10.10 .10 per foot, delivered to the job site. Do I have a motion? So moved. Mr. Kushner, I have a second. So, Mr. Swihart, roll call. Mr. Swihart. Yes. Mr. DiPietro. Yes. Mr. Kushner. Yes. Mr. Buffalini. Yes. Motion carried. Okay, is there any commissioner's reports? Do you have anything to report? Nothing. Uh, we'll move on to our departments. Uh, Chief Ermacher, please, please report, please. Yes, sir, for the month of March, Police vehicle mileage and citations were above monthly average for the year. Calls for service and arrest below monthly average for the year. And incidents were at monthly average for the year. I attended several meetings to include uh, department heads meeting, Margaret Ross 5K planning meeting, Memorial Day parade planning, ESU advisory board, school board meeting and hosted Western PA Chiefs meeting at the FES. Myself, <coughs> Officer Lopez of K-9 Lex attended the practical justice class at the high school. Officer Lopez and K-9 Lex participated in K-9 sweeps at the high school and at BCJ. I attended a license plate reader for municipalities presentation at the 911 center. Officer Rogers attended monthly ESU training. Officer Nicolette Lopez particip participated in a panel discussion at the Beaver Valley Mall related to Women's History Month at the request of the Beaver County Community and Law Enforcement Coalition. Department members attended a memorial for Officer Jimmy Nyam at Aliquippa PD, and department members assisted with security for a visit by Governor Wolf. That concludes my report. Okay, thank you, Chief. Mr. Krieger, Road Department. Thank you, Mr. Report. President. Uh, Hope all Road Department monthly report <coughs> for March of 2019. We serviced the sweep, uh, the street sweeper and the brush hog, removed all the solders and the plows from the trucks. We stockpiled the final order of 302 tons of salt. We graded and repaired Tank Road, Davidson, Boggs, Honeysuckle, Sharon Grange, and the alleyways that we maintain. Removed trees at the park for the dog park project. We hauled fill and millings to the parking area uh, at the park for the dog park project. Placed a stop sign on Crispin Drive and the school hour signs on Kane Road. Cleaned and reorganized our toll room. Prepared our depository for the opening day. We were called out three times for snow removal, totaling nine and a half hours of overtime. And we patched potholes and began sweeping the streets throughout the month. And in the month of March, I began receiving complaints regarding Beaver Lakes Boulevard condition. And there's nothing that the road department can do <coughs> itself to remedy the road. The surface is washboarded, and the only suggestion I might have is to possibly have it milled and sealed by Youngblood uh, paving this year. Uh, something we're going to look into. That's, that's all I have for that. And I spoke with Buff, I spoke with you, Mr. Buffalini, about it, about the situation. It's been ongoing. So uh, that concludes my report. Okay, thank you, Mr. President. 
Mr. Uh, Mr. Miller, uh, engineering report, please. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, for the 20th of April uh, meeting this past month, we uh, received the flow data for the Shadow Lakes development, and we're reviewing that flow data now. Um, we'll have some more detailed information on the flow results here by the next meeting. Um, had a meeting with Miranda Holmes and a developer looking to develop a pet <coughs> build single, single family home build that would be in the Wickham uh, wastewater treatment plant service area. Um, talked initially about some wastewater treatment plant upgrades and uh, potential pump station upgrades that may be needed, and we're working on that, getting some more details on that. Um, Westfield Towers development, we requested some additional information um, before recommending the as builds be accepted as presented. And uh, finally, um, Spending some time tracking down some MS4 information that was provided uh, or collected from a previous uh, consultant firm to the township. Uh, specifically, we're looking for some looking for some photos that were taken but never delivered. Um, in the process of trying to track that down and get that portion complete, so we can begin our uh, MS4 inspections this summer. Uh, this concludes my report. Okay, thank you, Mr. Miller. Mr. Bates, zoning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, ladies and gentlemen. Hopewell Township Building and Zoning Report for March 2019. For the building report, during the month of March, eight permits were approved. Permits were issued for the following construction. There were two single family homes, one single family demolition, one addition, one deck, one solar panel and one above ground pool and one commercial sign. Six electrical permits and one plumbing permit was issued. For my zoning report, I investigated property complaints and started corrective action. Sent certified mail to property owners concerning violations. I informed property owners and contacted Beaver County for property assessments, issued new addresses with the post office and Beaver County 911. I contacted waste management with various refuse collection concerns. I reviewed a timber harvest permit application, issued zoning permits for various accessory use projects, investigated storm and sewer stormwater complaints with Chris Thompson, and I met and sent some information to South Heights Borough about a sinkhole on Route 51, and lastly, I hosted Governor Wolf at the Green Garden Plaza for the Restore PA initiative. Uh, as far as the planning commission, the next planning commission will be Thursday, May 16th. And it's good to see some residents tonight in the house. Reminder for all property owners, please post your address number so they are clearly visible from the street. Keep your dog under control at all times. Keep all refuse in bags with cans and lids, not to be put out at curbside until 12 hours prior to pickup. The dumping of miscellaneous items along state roads and township roads is illegal. And uh, lately with the spring coming on, I've gotten some calls there's no burning in Hopewell Township. <coughs> the other thing about parking on Township streets in the neighborhoods, please be courteous when parking along Township streets in your neighborhood. And lastly, ATVs and motor dirt bikes need permission to use the property that they're operating on. And that's all I have. <coughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Bates. You're welcome. Okay, next, uh, anything under old business, gentlemen? Anything under new business? I think. All right, now we come to our citizens' forum. <coughs> if you have any comments or questions, we ask that the residents state their name and address, 
Please be brief and to the point in groups, hopefully <coughs> represented by one spokesperson. So is there anyone? Yes. My name is Sarah Pinnell, and I'm running for uh, controller of Beaver County. Um, I'll be here after the meeting if anyone has any questions. My slogan is, yell for a Pinnell. So that should be easy to remember. Where, uh, where are you from, Sarah? <coughs> what's, your, what's your address? Where are you from? Economy. Oh, my address. Pardon me? You want my address? My yeah. address. 114 Fairview Avenue, Ambridge. I live in Economy. Economy. Okay. Glad to have you. Good luck. Thank you. <coughs> All right. I enjoy going to these meetings. Yes. <laughs> Glad to have you. Anyone else? Yes. Donna Ritchie, 2001 Abbey Lane. Uh, we've been here many times. And I seem to have a new engineer now. So I don't know if he's been given the background on Beaver Lakes Boulevard or not. But I'm certain Mr. Buffley can fill you in. Mm -hmm. um, at the last meeting we were here, one of the things we left with was you were going to see what you could do and I was going to see what I could do. And what I did was get in touch with PennDOT. I called Marie, uh, Mr. Tolovich and myself, and Marie, a representative um, I can't remember his name, from Matthew's office, uh, and PennDOT. <coughs> and we went from Golf Course Road to the top of it all the way to the bottom and took down notes on every little thing. Uh, I had wanted a guardrail on that bad bend down there for two years. It's finally been installed. Um, we're still waiting to see what you folks are going to do. Um, and that's what I would like to know. Since the last meeting, what have you done? I also called the mayor of Alacupa. I talked to Gil in Alacupa. They told me they were more than willing to relinquish the top part of the road to Hopewell. I called Marie and I told her that. She said, well, they have paperwork that had to be filled out. I called them back. I told them that. They said they never received paperwork. <coughs> so I asked Marie what she was going to do with that. Now, that's what I've done. And I think that's above and beyond. And I'd like to know what you folks have done. Yeah, well, we don't have as you can see, we don't have Marie here right now. We don't have a report right now. I don't know if Curtis or if Mr. Miller has been able to go through all her, her things yet. Uh, but we know we know all that, that you did, and the problem we had some problems with some with other municipalities. One anyway uh, to get straightened out. Uh, I know that much. But as far as what all she has, I I couldn't tell you offhand on. We'd have to get her, her information and get Mr. Miller involved in it. Is she still the engineer here? Is she gone or what? She's gone. Uh, Mr. Miller's the engineer. Now, he came in, uh, I guess, beginning of March, uh, late February, getting into March. Correct. So he hasn't had, he isn't quite up to speed on everything yet. Well, I'd be happy to bring him up to speed. So, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I'm sure he'll, he'll, he'll sit down with you. I'm There's no problem with that. Sit down or yeah. on the phone or whatever. But you know it all too, Buff, so. Sure, sure. I mean, I feel like we're still dragging our feet around here for a while. Well, you know what, working, working with the state too, Don, is, is, is a little different. They could tell you a lot of well, things. I'm talking mainly about Beaver Lakes Boulevard. Beaver Lakes, Boul Beaver Lakes Boulevard. Beaver Lakes Boulevard, I think uh, Mr. Pritter just mentioned. He and I had a talk, Mr. DiPietro, we had a talk about uh, what we'd like to do as a temporary fix down there. We just got to see, we got to get the the pavers in and talk to them and see if we can get a bit, uh, you know, temporary fix down there. Uh, that first well, part. Temporary just fix, what I'm told in the beginning from a guy who was very knowledgeable when it was done, said the stone bottom. It is. That's why it's not the right kind of stone. It, so exactly. They, they do use, anything and not put the right stone down, it's just going to happen again. Well, that, that's what I said. That's why I said it's a temporary fix. We do that, just the bottom part would be a temporary fix. Because we're still uh, the the uh, the development down there is is still going on. No, we don't know. No, it's not. No, it's not. 
no, it's not. We've got that from a good source. Nothing been going Mr. on down there. Mr. Before. Squire, do you have a meeting with them within the last two weeks? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Miller, were you down with a meeting with them in the last two weeks? Yes. So Santa Lakes. Who that was him. Who's him? him? Who's him? The developer. The property owner's unaware of that. It's not aware. <laughs> Well, the developer was meeting with us again, twice in the last. I, I was off. I was. I had some medical problems. I was on, so I wasn't involved in it. But I know Mr. Swire was here. Mr. Miller was here. One was down, I believe, down at Shadow. Shadow Lakes. And the and second one was up here. Met up here with well, our I knew engineer. there was going to be a meeting, but well, there was two. Been done to so I mean, property. when you say that that, that it's not going to go, well, we're that's years you, away. <coughs> well, There's nothing well, right well, now. Well, that's why I say we want to get a temporary fix there and get it by so if this does develop then we're okay then we can we can start on a permanent fix on that road all the way back from the front to the back yes Hi, Val Tatalovich 5004 Abbey Lane I'd like to speak to this subject sure Beaver Lakes Boulevard has been in this dreadful condition that it's in for decades we all know that dreadful condition. There are bad roads in Al Fripa that are in better condition than Beaver Lakes Boulevard. And everybody makes fun of Al Fripa roads. But we're hopeful township. And this road services our biggest hospitality venue in the township. Yesterday, the country club served close to 500 dinners. 15. I mean, I'm sorry, 1,500 dinners yesterday for Easter. We all know the weddings, the golf outings, all of the functions. That's the road that you have to take to get to our hospitality venue, not to mention all the people who live there. The road is dreadful. The last time we met, you gave us reasons why it couldn't be done. We accepted those reasons as reasons. The drainage on nine, somebody may be building. Golf course road is a mess. That has to be taken care of first. Our people did the legwork that needed to be done. The ball is in your guys' court on some of this. But the road needs to be fixed. There were, the last time we were here, there were two other major road projects that you have to tend, that you had to tend to. Good. Surely by now they tend to. And I appreciate the fact that I'm trying to do something with this road. I don't know what a temporary fix means, but if somebody is going to build on it, that shouldn't hold us up in any way. We could just write, you could write something into their contract like we're doing at the Village of Shadow Lakes when Phil Laird built the last building. Any damage he does to the road, he has to bring back to the original condition. Simple as that. Number nine is not an issue anymore. The building is not an issue anymore. Golf course road should not be an issue anymore. And money shouldn't be an issue anymore because you have the fuel tax money you could use. Told us two years ago it was for signs. You use it for something different, for signs or whatever. We'll use it for this road. It, it's. Yeah. I mean, these people have, this is my second meeting here. These people have been coming complaining about this road for years. We, when does they belong to the club as the oldest membership at the club? The road's never been fixed. So I'm sorry. But I'm upset. Well, it's, it's on a list for this year to, to be remedied. And with, with, with what we have going on, we're going to do a temporary fix. It's going to get fixed this year. What does okay. that mean? Yeah, what is a temporary fix? That, that means it's That's not going to be permanent. That means what Mr. Krieger I mean, said. We're well, going we to get, we're going to have a paving company come in. We're going to have a paving company come in, mill down the washboard on a road. What does that mean? We don't know what that means, mill down the washboard. What well, does that mean? a permanent fix, number one, we got to do under drain in that road because that's part of the problem, okay? Uh, mill it down, as he said, is mean just take off a layer of that macadam and try to put a, a, a thin layer maybe on top to make it smooth to get by till we're ready to do the, the permanent fix, is which is under drain and, and all that. And that was part of the problem with that is, is the drainage. Is stuff. this temporary fix on the schedule or is it still something that's just no, being it's on a schedule. It's on a schedule for 2019. What area of you will explore where they are? Just the front, where all the ripples are. The front, you mean from the clubhouse down? Right. No, just just the bottom where all the ripples are. Because when we do the perfect... The ripples are all the way out to the other condos. Yeah. 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 That's, you that can't even drive. say that. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're yeah. Like that's an that last time, road. our last meeting, we talked about this in a public meeting. Yes. We said we're going to look at it with the same approach that we looked at it on Cane Road. We did Cane Road, I mean, 
uh, Airport Road. We did Airport Road in three sections. We talked about doing Beaver Lakes Boulevard in possibly two or three sections because how, how long the road is and, and we don't have unlimited resources as a township, okay? And when we mentioned that we may do it in sections, I think that was a little bit amenable to the folks that were in the audience that night, okay? We're looking at, we're gonna mill, that means to scrape off the top layer, smooth it out so you don't have the washboard effect. It won't be a brand new road, but it'll be, it'll be smooth enough and it'll be passable so you don't have the lumps that are in the road right now. Okay, that's what Mr. Krieger was talking about, having young blood, young blood paving come in. When Marie was here, and, and Kurt probably could tell you the same thing, because he, he does a lot of work with PennDOT. Okay, for us to do a, a total fix of that road, you're right, the underlayment is bad. So we're gonna need to spend a lot of money to get the road back up to pristine condition. We're gonna put it, we hear what you're saying, we are, 2018 road program was done, okay. Now we're in 2019, that's on the list for 19. We're gonna get at least the first half of the road correct. That's the best I can tell you for right so now. So where, to the golf course? It'll probably be up to the- Top, top of the hill where the sign is, Nick? Yeah, top of the hill. So then, then are you saying the second half will get done next year? No, that's the temporary fix. I understand. The, the, what he said about doing it in sections and we, when we do it permanently, that's the sections he was talking about like we did at Airport Road. So that'll be the permanent fix. So the temporary is the whole road thing? No, the temporary is to get all that washboard out when you're coming in that, that's affecting everything. We're trying to get that out, okay? And if, if, this, if this development goes and it's, it's done, now we're going to come in there with, the, with permanent fix. We've got to do the under drain. We got to get drainage in there. Uh, probably dig out all that bad uh, uh, slag they used and get down to to a base. Well, okay, now is, that's that's the permanent fix. The question is, how far are you taking the temporary fix? Because that's over to the condos. It's bad. No, we're not going to the condos. It's, it's, it's so how far? Do you that's when the home? permanent the fix comes house? in. Past the clubhouse? We just talking about no. I don't think we're going to get to the clubhouse. I think it's going to be the entrance. That flat part only. Yeah, well, up to the, I think he was saying to the sign, maybe up to your sign or whatever. Well, when we get when we get the contractor in there and he gives us his price, we're going to do as much of it as we can. Yeah, that's the best I can tell you. It might be more than that, depending on the price. And when do you have in mind for a permanent fix? Well, again, as Mr. Buffalini and Mr. Schweighart, you know, uh, talk to is that there's a potential development there that you know about, and I know you guys don't think it's going to be going in, okay? We have a little bit different information, and that's why last year we were hesitant <coughs> to do anything with the road, because if we're going to have construction vehicles driving on it, there's no sense in putting a permanent fix in and have it ruined. So we're trying to be a little bit strategic about it, but we, you know, and still do the right thing. So, but, but we're not going to wait anymore for that project. We're going to go ahead and put a temporary fix in this well, year. How many years do you wait for this condo project to happen <clears throat> before you do a permanent fix on Beaver Lakes Boulevard that needs to be done? How many years do you plan on waiting? Uh, it's been years already. You know that. Well, I've, uh, I've, I've only known, I personally have only known about it for the last two years. That's when it all that, started. It's, that, that hasn't been well, years. Well, that's this two years. Yes, it has. Oh, yes, yes so, it has. The developer just got down it. There was another developer that backed out of that. That was a few years back. This developer just started, uh, if it was last year or maybe a year and a half ago. Uh, that's when this one started. The one that you're talking about, they pulled out. I know what they wanted to do, but they. But see, they our point up. is, if this one backs <coughs> out, well, then and another one waltzes in. No, no. They, I mean, they, we're all going to be dead by the time you guys wait around for this, these yeah, condos to get built. <laughs> yeah. How many units are there, is the new guy putting up? Supposedly, down the bottom there was five, I think. Yeah. Well, what's the total curve for five a total of fifty? The build the four the buildings. Building what was originally said is is on the on the driving range. Four buildings. Four buildings. Two hundred. 
Okay, with Ben Oster on the top. 250, 250, uh, 250. The rentals. Guys, going the same thing? It's still the same. That's still the same guy. That's that's the owner of the land who you say that didn't know nothing about it, and the developer. That the, Those are the people they're handling. So he owns the land now? He bought the land yeah. from Jimmy? No, no. He, no, no, no. Jimmy's no, no. part of it. He owns the land. Oh, that's his, I'm sorry, Bob. Yeah. Sorry. And a big you got part the land of owner the and the developer. I, I know you've seen people down here messing with the sewer yeah. lines. That was a big part of that. Yeah. That, that's a, that was a whole We had to cap off some of that sewer because it was taking infiltration. There were dead lines. We had to do all that before we get. There's a process to all this. Right. I know. You've seen people down there, you know, pulling cameras. <coughs> and they just got the that. Sewer, sewer lines. Pardon me? Are you guys paying for the sewer lines for that? Uh, the for no, the that? developer will. Okay. Sorry, we don't have a definite answer for you, but we well, are going to try to get be, that. It would be nice in one future meeting that you guys do come up with a time frame that, okay, we can't keep telling these people we're waiting for condos to be built. They're going to be in wheelchairs pretty soon. We need to get those right. Okay. Yes. Yes. My name is Erin Markham. I have actually I own two houses, 3013 Woodfield Drive and 2011 Golfway with my mother. My first question, John, you spoke about uh, waste management. All 40 condos on Fairway and Golfway pay a fee with the corporation fee. We would like to know, we're going to actually sign a petition and send the letter in because we want to know why we pay $90 a quarter instead of 54. Um, I know they pay one lump sum, we would like to know why we do. The waste management said that's the way Hope will signed us up for it. I'm sorry. It was negotiated with Hopewell Township that way with the Condo Association. We want to know why, I guess our representative with Bogart Anderson, Jackie McLaughlin tried to talk to Hopewell Township. You guys told her you can't talk to her. She's not part of the Condo Association. Association. So if it can't be, we would, we're going to sign a letter, a petition, we want to get out of it while we're paying $90 instead of 54 a quarter. So that's my first question. If you can find that out for me, um, you can give me a call. I can come back in, whatever we need to do. That's the first thing we're paying $40 <coughs> more a quarter, and we don't understand why. So okay. everyone, the whole condo. The whole so condo is, and there's seniors that live there. They can actually get a senior discount, too, if it was paid individually. Yeah. So I don't know if Hopewell's getting money from waste management, and that's why it's ninety dollars. No, we, no, no, we, no, we can't no. make any money from waste okay. management. Well, waste management is goes to them. Quite a bit of money. Oh, I'll, I'll explain that in a moment. Okay. What's, what's the second question? My second, well, just a little statement as. Uh, Mr. DePedro was saying, Marie was supposed to get and promise that the last meeting she was going to find out what it would cost her part of the road to get fixed. I don't know if she did that, but she said she would let us know at the next meeting, which is in many meetings, to let us know, okay, as they did Airport Road, okay, this section would cost this much, this yeah. section would cost this much, and that wasn't just a temporary fix, that was a final That was for fix. the permit, yeah. That, right. Um, temporary, it doesn't obviously make me happy. I live all the way down at Woodfield, which is just as bad. We love for the new parts were paved at Fairway and Golfway, but then you go down there and then you go down to Woodfield, which a lot of people sitting in front of me live on Golfway I mean, down on Woodfield, and we have kids that live down there. And the kids want to ride their bikes and not fall into a pothole. There's a lot more potholes lately that actually need filled and taken care of. It, I understand you're going to do one part of the road, and it sounds like you're going to just do to the new condos. No, no. What we were looking at is that that wash road that's that's coming in. That's a temporary fix. That's that's like a temporary fix. you go around fix. the bend and you go across the your house too. Pod, no. And you go past. Yeah. The, can I finish, please? One minute, guys. I've been waiting the whole meeting. You go past the pond and up the hill, and there's a lot of people that walk their dogs and walk down there. And it's just not. It's not a nice road. I mean, we've lived there for seven years. And I've never seen anything done with it. They lived there a lot longer. I'm just asking what we were promised at the last meeting a long time ago. I know Marie is gone. If you can please look into if she did any research, she was going to have somebody come down and do pricing per sections. I mean, we've asked numerous times. I just ask that you, you can please look into it if she didn't. That's all I ask. And the waste management, please. 
I mean, yeah, $90 man, per quarter is ridiculous. Okay, so what that is, is that I just got a call today from Village on the Green. That's what I'm talking about. President. Mm -hmm. and Eric Carmico. And this is the first time I ever heard, heard of this. However, Village on the Green, multifamily homes are under the commercial building code. Only single family and, and double family homes, triple family homes, are under the residential building code. So when you go into multifamily homes, you go into the commercial building code. And so the condos, being multifamily homes, are paying waste management a commercial <coughs> rate, which turns out to be ninety-seven dollars or whatever it is. Correct. And their and his question was: Is can they register somehow? under just a, a plain residential rate and get like a 40 some odd dollar <coughs> savings. Now, I don't know if, if they can do that or not. You know, I just got the call today and I didn't have time to, to research it, but I was just curious that Hopewell Township it, it doesn't do the garbage billing, waste management does, and we don't really have anything to do with it anymore. It was registered that way from the get-go. I don't know about the claim that that's what Hopewell that's what negotiated and such. That's that that's yeah. how you... Well, I don't know. So I don't know who's doing what, right. but if it could be... You know, the funny right. thing is, is when my mother moved in, they sent her a bill. Right. So well, they, they registered single as a single person living right. there, but then we found out she paid the HOA. I, I understand. So, so so I just got the call today, so I'm working on it, and I will get an answer for I you. I would appreciate and that. And at the end of the meeting, I'll get your phone number. Okay. Thank and, you. And uh, I'll get your answer if for you. If something okay, could be you. fixed there, that was, I mean, it's a big savings program. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Thank you. Yeah. That's all I had. Okay. Anyone Thank else? You. And I get to tell you, we did not get a price from Marie. Okay. She was gone before she took care of any of that. So okay. we got a new engineer. Yeah, we're, we're probably looking at a new contract for, for refuse collection this year. Okay. And we, we put it out to bid. So it might not be waste management next time. It might be someone else. So we'll see how, you know. It still would be yeah, savings. the rest of this year, if we can get a savings. Yeah. I mean, comparable yeah. to what I'll, we paid our house and what you paid. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Sure. It's either applicable or not, you know, for, right. for a multifamily home. So. I mean, you keep saying multifamily. It's still a single family. To it, me. It's, she lives in there. It doesn't matter. It's a multifamily okay. building. The housing construction of Village on the Green condos, it's Sorry. considered a multifamily. It's a different building code. I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. I'll figure it out and I'll okay. get back to it. All right, thank you. <coughs> okay, anyone else? <coughs> yes, sir. Richard Plus, uh, 2438 Broadhead. Um, 2438 Broadhead. Just asking for a decision on the property's uh, sewer charges. Uh, we have a February leak that resulted in higher than normal water and sewer bills. Um, I think it was discussed at the last meeting. And that, um, being that the water was neither conveyed or treated, if uh, the sewer charges could be removed. What was the uh, total bill? Do you know? 1800 1800 So what we did since the uh, last time we heard about this is we sent over the head of the sewer plant, and I believe uh, Jamie, uh, he, he went there, and uh, they looked at it to determine if any of it would have been <coughs> in in any manner into the system. And I believe we determined it could not. Okay, so we're gonna discuss that uh, and make a decision. Uh, but you know, my opinion is that since it did not go into the system, we're gonna look favorably upon it, but I can't tell you what everyone else is going to do, but uh, we wanted to make sure first that it wasn't going into the system <coughs> being treated. Okay, so we'll get you an answer probably uh, at the end of the meeting here. Okay, appreciate it. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Yeah, hey, uh, I'll keep it quick. I got a lot of little guys running around here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, Jeremy Bame, uh, 3002 Woodfield Drive. Um, echoing a lot of the sentiments of these good people here. We live in the same community. Um, my son here gets a brand new electric scooter for Christmas. First nice day, we go out, turn the ride on the street. It's a big pothole, breaks the front wheel on it. 
Uh, he just said he rides down to the neighbor's house here, hits a pothole, skids his bike out, messes his bike up. And, uh, he asked me, Dad, how, how do you, things like this get fixed? You know, we fix this, and I told him the process would probably be to go to the township meetings and talk to those folks there and hopefully get some attention from them. So, yeah. I'm hoping that is the process. And That's just coming Westfield? here and telling you that we're, we're concerned about the conditions of the road. Um, get to some attention. Specifically, Woodfield. Well, I drive on all of these. I live all the way. No, but okay. so what are you talking about? Yeah, I live on Woodfield Drive. Woodfield? That's uh, that's in my son here. <coughs> where, <coughs> where, Mr. Kruger, where he broke the we'll get down the wheel. Three thousand two Woodfield Drive, right in front of the house. Look, it's all close. We'll be down there. We'll be down there. Have the, uh, we'll be down the park down there. I appreciate it, folks. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? No one. All right. Thank you. Just a couple announcements. We have the Joe Craig Memorial Youth Fishing Derby. It'll be held Saturday, Saturday, April 27th, 8 a.m. to noon. And the Adult Fishing Derby will be held Sunday, April 28th, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. A.m. A.m. <laughs> uh, Earth Day Extravaganza is scheduled for Saturday, May 4th, 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. All are welcome as we work to prepare the park and other areas throughout the township for the upcoming season. Please visit our website at hopewelltwp.com, our Facebook, our Twitter for updates of Hopewell Township news and events. At this particular time, we do have to uh, go into executive session. We have uh, personnel with the uh, police department and yeah, the, the uh, police department issues involve uh, leave, uh, FMLA leave, uh, a workers' comp claim, a grievance, and a potential grievance. Okay. At the end of that executive session, we uh, we will open back up, and if there's anything that we have to vote on or make a motion, we'll do at that time. Uh, if you want to stick around, if you could. If not, everything will be on the website. It comes out. Okay. I want to thank you all for coming. Uh, hopefully we get a lot of these things straightened up pretty quick. All right. Thank you.